Welcome back everyone to Twisted Gaming TV. Today's video is going to be a start of some new videos. Video game hunting and thrifting. Anyways, yesterday I went to a few antique stores, got some awesome stuff. Now I didn't record that much footage in the store because I didn't really think about it at the time. But uh, future videos, I'm going to record the whole thing. So... I'll show you what I picked up yesterday. Some of it's pretty awesome. Anyways, let's check it out. All right, so here's the stuff I bought from the antique store, thrift store. First thing, a Sears home catalog, okay, from 1989. Um, I only bought it just for a couple of cool pages. Let's see if I remember the pages. I think it's 990, page 990. So this came out when I was um, nine years old with Atari 7800, 89.99. Look at that, that's pretty awesome. Next page is what's even more cool. The Sega Master System, 109.99 pretty awesome and then we got the nintendo nes right here 99 dollars. now like i said this catalog's from 1989 so it's pretty dope that's a lot of vintage stuff in here like crazy uh here's all the nes games of course some of these are super expensive if they were still sealed but yeah pretty awesome um, old computers and stuff. Pretty cool. But, paid 10 bucks for this. Now, some people might say, why did you spend $10 on that? I don't know. It's just too neat, okay? So, there's that. Um, next thing, got PlayStation 1 Dance Dance Resolution game. Uh... Nice disc and everything. It's a little, a little fingerprinted. Got that for three dollars. Not too bad. Dance, dance, revolution. Another one. Manual game. Got that for two dollars. Nightmare Creatures, Activision, PlayStation 1. Ooh. Got this one for, I don't know, I think $4. Not bad. Odd World. Got this one for like $3. Um, it has both discs. And it, and the manuals and everything. All the good garbage. Got this cool Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle three pack um, of the movies. Got that for $5. Not bad. Pretty neat. Super Mario Brothers Wii. Oh. Manual disc. Really nice, complete box. Got that for $10. That's probably like a $50 game, complete box, to be honest with you. Or maybe $30. I don't know. Uh, and then... Game Boy Color. Um, what do you call this? 
this garbage uh, carrier or whatever, you know. Got that for four dollars. Pretty neat. Good condition. Looks like somebody spilled something on it, but this thing's easy to clean or whatever. Authentic. Now, since I love golf, this is pretty dope. Ooh. Greens fees. <laughs> it's a, a piggy bank. Now, when I got this, um, it had black specks all over it, which was probably roach shit. And uh, some soap and water really cleaned it up really nice. Now, I don't know how old this is. It could be 10 years old or it could be 30 years old. You know what I mean? But it's pretty neat. Got that for $6. So that was, that was a steal of a deal since I like golf. Pretty neat. I like that. Golden tea. <laughs> Anyways, the grand finale piece is this. This is dope. Slow. Kids at play. If not many people know where this is actually from, there's only one place that had this type of sign, and it was Toys R Us, uh, and Kids R Us, or Babes, Baby R Us, or whatever the hell they called that. But uh, pretty awesome. It's not a sticker, it's paint. This is all painted on. Um, it's double-sided. Um, so yeah, that was from Toys R Us. And the dope thing is, it still has the damn sticker. ToysRUs.com. And then, you know. This is not a toy, this product is intended to alert motors of children at play. So, authentic Toys R Us um, deal. Ten bucks. Got that for ten dollars. Oh man, I guess the tag. They, oh, I guess they broke the tag off, didn't they? Anyways, yeah, it was ten bucks. So that was a steal of a deal too. That's pretty dope, huh? I like that. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Well, some good finds. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to start going to antique stores and doing some thrifting. Uh, and you know, we'll, I'll record the whole thing next time. Um, like I said, I didn't really think about it, uh, cause I was just excited. So I didn't think about getting the damn camera out, but next time we're going to start doing that. We're going to start filming stuff and see what we, um, we can find. So anyways, thank you for watching Twisted Gaming TV. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Always coming back. Till next video, peace. Ultimate.